question this time is regarding dentists and Botox. Many times people will ask, are dentists allowed to place Botox? Uh, what kind of training? And usually there's a little bit of a derogatory slant, um, skepticism. And, and many times it's coming from plastic surgeons and dermatologists and, and people like that. So first off, it should establish that if anybody is qualified to place Botox innately, it's going to be a dentist. We have uh, probably the most extensive training in head and neck anatomy and uh, understanding the musculature because we deal with the muscles of mastication or chewing and the muscles of facial expression on a daily basis. We have to know where those muscles are as we're getting things numb so that we can work on the teeth. We're aware of it all. We also have to be aware of the muscle effect when we change a person's bite. When we're doing a filling, when we're doing a crown, that's going to affect the muscles. And so we're very, should be well trained in handling TMJ scenarios or making proper referrals to those of us that are trained in treating TMJ uh, disorders. So also, one must consider the actual injection of the Botox itself. Who better to give an injection than someone who gives multiple injections all day long, every day? Um, many of the other offices, the, the non-dental offices that are placing Botox, it's not the doctor that's actually placing the Botox. It's an auxiliary, a nurse, an assistant. That's someone that's under, quote, supervision of the doctor, but it isn't the doctor themselves. So we're really kind of comparing, is a dentist as qualified as a nurse? And the reality is, yes, both. Nurses are fine. Dentists are fine. Now, it's important that you find a dentist that is trained because sometimes, and there, this is a, a fair criticism, if a dentist takes a simple weekend course and decides to start placing Botox, that could lead to dangerous scenarios. What I mean by that is you, you should walk before you run. And there are some applications for Botox that are fairly straightforward and, and the minimum amount of training is going to make us qualified for that. And some of the other type of injections is going to take a little bit more uh, training. I myself have had uh, over 100 hours in advanced training in injectables, both the dermal fillers and Botox, from several different institutes. I think a variety of instruction makes a well-rounded uh, practitioner coming from one institute and from another. Everybody is going to teach a different perspective or technique. And uh, if we learn from all of them, I think we are a more well-rounded uh, clinician. So is a dentist capable? Absolutely. In fact, I took a course from a dermatologist, and he was instructing people not to inject a certain way for fear of affecting a certain muscle. And I informed him that there was actually a jawbone in between the two muscles in question, and, and he wasn't certain about that until someone Googled the anatomy and then found out that the dentist was correct, that, that the dermatologist had, had forgotten. I mean, if anybody's going to know the relationship and anatomy of a jaw, it's going to be a dentist. So... Rest assured, if you're considering having Botox and your dentist has offered it, make sure he's qualified, make sure he has the tra proper training, but don't feel that he's stepping outside of his license and uh, capabilities. Dr. Timmerman is known internationally with licenses in multiple states in the United States plus Belgium and Dubai for cosmetic, implant, and sleep dentistry with fellowships in the International Congress for Oral Implantology and the Academy of General Dentistry and a diplomate in the American Board of Dental Sleep Medicine. If you would like to become a patient of Dr. Timmerman or simply have questions, please go to our website, www.drtimmerman.com. That is www.drtimmerman.com. Or call us at 206-241-5533. Or you could email questions for an episode of a future podcast at thewholetoothpodcast at gmail.com.